When it comes to the rich and famous, they seem to live for that flashing camera. But what about the stars who've had their photographs taken for the wrong reason? Chris Spargo is back now to talk about some of the most memorable celebrity mugshots of all time. Chris, apparently even celebrity status doesn't keep you from having your rights read. Let's start with Reese Witherspoon. Her arrest in 2013 was totally scandalous, and this mugshot became famous. What happened here? Yeah, Jesse, well, back in 2013, she was driving in Atlanta with her husband, Jim Toth. He got pulled over and was given a sobriety test. Reese was in the passenger seat. She got incredibly angry and got out of the car and used the infamous Do You Know Who I Am card while yelling at the officer. She seemed to be imbibing a little bit. She was eventually taken in for disorderly conduct where she was booked in the police station. Yeah, the Do You Know Who I Am card didn't quite work out for Reese there. Um, what happened to Reese Witherspoon after the arrest? Witherspoon later released a statement in the wake of the incident saying, I clearly had one drink too many, and I am deeply embarrassed about the things I said. It was definitely a scary situation, and I was frightened for my husband, but that is no excuse. I was disrespectful to the officer who was just doing his job. I have nothing but respect for the police, and I'm very sorry for my behavior. And uh, everything kind of passed over, though. It really didn't stick to her too bad. Yeah, she really hasn't had any issues since that. Okay, next celebrity mugshot, The Weeknd, who was arrested in Las Vegas in 2015. Chris, what happened here? Yeah, well, the weekend was in Vegas partying at a hotel and a fight broke out and he claims he was trying to maybe break it up. We're not really sure what happened, but in the process accidentally struck an officer uh, and then got taken in for that. Okay, striking an officer, bad news there. What happened for the weekend after the incident? Uh, he was taken to a detention center. He pleaded no contest. He was eventually released on his reconnaissance and a little bail bond and he actually posted a photo sort of bragging about the fact that he was heading out of Vegas to his social media accounts. All right, Chris, next, a classic mugshot that actually went viral. This is one of the most memorable mugshots to me personally. I'm talking about Nick Nolte, 16 years later, and people are still talking about this picture. Chris, what happened? Yeah, back in 2002, he was driving in California, got pulled over, uh, suspicion of drunken driving taken in, and obviously it's a mugshot we all remember with that Hawaiian shirt, the crazy hair, his face looking very haggard. Uh, he recently revealed, however, in his biography that he wasn't actually drunk, he was on GHB, uh, which is commonly referred to as the, quote, date rape drug, uh, which he'd been taking for years, he said, uh, about 20 years altogether, and he's now off it and much better. He goes to, he says, Narcotics and Alcoholic Anonymous meetings, he says, to deal with that addiction. Yeah, I think it's the legendary combo of the shirt and the hair. That's why I just can't get that picture out of my mind. Uh, Chris, what was the impact of the arrest on Nick Nolte? Nolte says it was really sort of the wake-up call that got him to stop using drugs and alcohol. It sort of, you know, set him straight and he was able to get his life in order after this. But Chris, this was not the first time that Nick Nolte had a run-in with the law, was it? No, about 40 years earlier, he was actually arrested for selling fake draft cards. He was uh, apprehended when he was sort of passing those out and spent some time in jail for that back in 1961. Well, all right, Chris, this next name on the list, this actually may surprise some people because Bill Gates, yes, the Bill Gates, over 40 years ago had a mugshot taken. What was he arrested for? Yeah, it is a big surprise, but when you hear what it is, it does kind of uh, go into this overachiever sort of mentality. Uh, he was arrested in both 1975 and 1977 for driving underage without a license. Uh, he was mugshot in 1977 for this, as we can see in this photo. Uh, and then he was arrested actually 12 years later in 1989. That was on suspicion of drunk driving, but those charges were eventually dropped. Obviously now he's worth $91 billion and has not had any run-ins with the law whatsoever. Yeah, and in that picture, he looks like he knows that one day he's going to be worth more than $90 billion. He's like, book me. Okay, well, let's up. Let's talk about Phil Spector and this wild mugshot and the charges that ended up changing his life. Chris, what's the story behind it? Yeah, this is the mugshot for when he was picked up on uh, murder charges for the death of Lana Clarkson. Obviously, we all remember this famous shot with his big hair and his glasses. Uh, he allegedly had confessed at the time, uh, eventually went to trial, and was put in jail for these charges. And speaking of changes, Chris, Spectre's latest mugshot that was taken in 2017 is also what many people consider arresting. Yeah, uh, the hair is completely gone in this one. He is uh, in his 80s now. He's wearing two hearing aids, a much different looking man than he was back in his rock and roll days. Hey, he looks like Dr. Evil or Lex Luthor. Okay, well, funny man Tim Allen wasn't laughing when this shot was taken, long before he hit it big with home improvement. Chris, what happened with Tim? Yeah, this might be one of the most shocking ones, Jesse. He was actually arrested for drug trafficking. He was caught with 650 grams of cocaine by drug sniffing dogs while he was traveling through an airport. Uh, he was facing a sentence of about six to seven years in prison, but he turned in some other people, gave some names, and only did about 28 months behind bars in the end. Tim Allen drug trafficking with lots of cocaine. Uh, he certainly made a huge turnaround, though, after that arrest. How did that end up impacting 
his life. Uh, he said, you know, just sort of like Nick Nolte, that he really had to turn around because he just realized where he was going was not where he wanted to be. He was drinking too much. He was not the kind of guy he wanted to be. Uh, and he's really been really clean ever since. He's also been very, very honest and open about it. While a lot of celebrities don't really like to address their arrests, he's spoken about it in his book and he's really talked about it very much. So I think he sort of reminds himself of it to keep on the right track. You know, it's amazing to think all of these celebrities, they've had so many photos taken of them throughout their lives, yet it's these mugshots that are the ones that we as fans simply cannot forget. Chris Bargo, thank you.